The Lion and the Little Red Bird Story and Pictures by Eliza Clevin One afternoon, a little red bird saw a lion with a bushy green tail, as green as the forest. The bird had never seen anything so unusual and so pretty. Just looking at it made her happy. Lion, lion, she said, why is your tail so green? The lion didn't understand the bird's language. He thought she was simply chirping. He smiled at her and wandered down to a field of orange flowers. The bird watched him roll and sniff and chase butterflies, then slowly walk west with the setting sun and disappear into a cave. The bird waited on a tree nearby. She wanted to see the lion's green tail again, but the lion did not come out of the cave, so the bird made herself a soft nest and slept through the warm starry night. In the morning, the lion came out, swishing his tail, which was no longer green, but orange as a flower, orange as a butterfly, orange as the setting sun. Lion, lion, the bird chirped, astonished. Why is your tail so orange? Again, the lion did not understand the bird. He smiled at her and climbed over the hill and up the mountain to a deep blue lake beneath a bright blue sky where he soaked his tired paws while the bird splashed nearby. At the end of the day, the lion climbed back down the mountain, over the hill, and home to his cave. The bird settled down in the tree, wondering as the sky darkened about the lion and his orange tail. But in the morning, the lion's tail was no longer orange. It was blue as the brightest blue sky. Blue was the deep mountain lake where he'd soaked his paws. Lion, lion, the bird chirped, enchanted. How did your tail change from orange to blue? Are you a magician? The lion just smiled and ambled over to a bush full of shiny red berries. They were beautiful berries, but very sour. Lion, the bird chirped, making a face. These berries are still too sour to eat. Why don't you just pick them when they are ripe? The lion just smiled, thinking about how much he liked the bird's chirping company. All afternoon, the lion picked berries, while the bird nibbled sunflower seeds nearby. Once, when the lion stepped on a thorn, the bird pulled it out for him. At sundown, the lion swished his tail goodbye and returned to his cave. The bird settled down in her nest. She wondered what color the lion's tail would be in the morning. She wished he would answer her questions. During the night, a storm came. Thunder crashed and lightning flashed. Rain swept away the bird's nest. Hearing the noise, the lion rushed out and reached up into the tree where the bird crouched, shivering and scared. He lifted her down and carried her into his cave. The cave was warm and colorful. The walls were filled with pictures of green forests, orange flowers, butterflies, sunsets, a bright blue sky, and a deep blue lake. Lion, lion, the bird chirped, delighted. How did these pictures get here? The lion smiled, dipped his tail into a bowl of shiny red berry juice, and painted a picture of the bird chirping on a berry bush. The bird sang while the lion painted. She sang a song without any questions, full of color and joy. The lion had never heard anything so unusual and so pretty. Just listening made him happy. In the morning, the storm was past. The world shone fresh and bright. The lion's tail was berry red, and the little bird knew why. She sang her happiest song and wondered what the lion would paint that night. The End